Shalom. Right? But you got him. Come. I had to get from the Mosai, which is right. Right? So I get something quick here. Okay. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 10. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, this is book of Psalm chapter 10 and verse 3. I read it from the KJV version and then we read the next version. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. I'm going to read in the KJV, the NKJV translation. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desires. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. Yeah, he renounces the Lord. Go ahead. Look up the word renounce, right? He blesses the greedy. Who's the greedy? Moab is the greedy, the so-called Chinese. Ishmael is the greedy, the so-called um, Arabs. The Hagarines, the Egyptians, Ethiopians. Everybody that benefit from, from this system, right? These Elamites. When they go across to Babylon, what, what happened is that uh, the bureaucracy that keeps us at bay, you know, because we work hard, as Jake, we get all. We have to go through um, long lines at the DMV and the different places to go and get your different licenses. To what? To what? To what? Sell food? Hey, to, to, to sell lemonade in front of your house? You know, remember some years ago, the, the, the Jake child was selling um, lemonade in front of the house, and either might went and you know, want to call the cops on on, on her, right? But. For the heathen, the heathen can do what the hell they want. They come in, they come into your hood, they open up a restaurant. Everything is prepared for them. We don't enter in that. We can see what the, the Moabites come in and speak a, a lick of English. Not even a lick of Anka English. They could speak. But what? They have liquor license, grocer's license, um, license firearm. If, 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 if they probably want, you know, got plenty of them Moabites getting um, robbed and they ain't shooting nobody. <laughs> so I, you know, yeah, you know. Yeah. But everything is prepared for them. You have the government in independent senators, right, preparing for them. They, they set up to, to, to provide for them, right, look after their needs. You have what? The Chinese Association. You have all these different associations. What are these associations which are prepared so that these nations can come in and get benefit, Salakia, get benefit from the um, resources of, of, of the countries, especially what? Oh, they're in Babylon, right? Because it's for them to benefit because they are the covetous. They're the ones that came and the American dream was for. Come, eat up our wine, eat up our food and drink up our wine, right? Go back and bless your nation, you know, you'll take your, your making money and you'll go back and you'll um, big up yourself back in your land, right? Be you know, that's how your system was designed, whereas it was, uh, it was also designed to, to depress and suppress the nation of Israel, right? They bless them and they, what, they, 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 they curse us. Right? They curse yeah. us, nation of Israel. You know? That what that, 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 that is it. Go ahead, read it over again. Salah. It says Psalm chapter 10, verse 3 it says, For the wicked boasts of his heart's desires. Yeah, he boasts of his heart desire, his mind's desire. Go ahead. He blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. He renounces the Lord. So what's the Lord? The Lord say what? The Lord say what uh for three transgressions, even four, he will not turn away the punishment thereof, right? Because one of the things that he do, he broke the brotherly covenant, right? Remember, they were the ones who said what? Race it, race it, right? In other words, erase the heritage of Israel. Mm -hmm. And hey, guess what? Somewhat they did that, except for the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, right? That we be revived here in these last days. We revived, right? But back then, they were saying race it, race it. Right, 
And then when they came into power, when they came into authority, they didn't help their brother. They still didn't help. But they what? They further persecuted Israel. Uh, I pause a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah, it says he blessed the greedy and renounced the Lord. Yeah, and renounced the Lord, right? So let's look up the word renounce. The word renounce means formally declared declare one's abandon abandonment. Was he Hebrew number? They ain't going to let all this one. Yeah, what's it? You can, um, the KJV. No, go ahead. Master. It says, Strong's 1214. Strong's H. Means Batash. What's the word? Batash. The Tample? The Tample, but I ain't anything. Oh. Hold on one second. Yeah, come on. Strong. Strong's H. 1214. Batsa. Batsa. It says what? To cut off? To break off, gain by unrighteousness, violence, to get, to finish, to be covetous, to be greedy, right? So, okay, let me come back. In, um, that's all. Right, so the wicked boasted of, um, the heart is there and bless the covetous whom the Lord abhorred, right? The NKJV says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and he blessed the greedy and renounces the Lord. Right, so let's look up that word renounce here. Contempt, despise, a born that's not Strong's age five thousand six. Not at not at to what to despise a bore or to spoon contempt spoon cause contempt to be contempted. Right? A bore blaspheme. Contempt flourish great oak in great occasion to blaspheme. Right? So what the wicked they boasted of their heart's desire, right? What is their heart's desire? That they're going to mark the people, right? They're going to mark the people. They're going to, they're going to chip the people. They're going to pass that mark of the beast. They're going to put that stigma upon them. That's the heart's desire, you see? That's when knowledge is the power, you know? The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip without a doubt, you know? With, with, with wisdom and understanding, you, can, you, would, you, would, you, would, you would discern that. Go ahead. It says... You have, you, have, you have the next um, definition? Can I say no? Can I Google it? Mm -hmm. It's saying formally declared one's abom abandonment of a claim, right, or possession. Right? Formally declared one's what? Abandonment. Right? Abandonment of a claim, right, or possession. Refuse or resign a right or possession. Specifically, one. One has an heir of an heir, an heir of the um, trustee, trustee, or trustee, trustee, an heir or trustee, somebody who has to um, inherit something, right? So your father dies, he, he has his will and testimony, right? He leaves his his estate to his heir, his son, his first son, right? Or trustee. So we're gonna go into that, right? But before we go into that, um. This is a dictionary meaning for the word renounce. It says formally declare one's abandonment of a claim, a right or possession. So the perfect example of that just goes back to what? Genesis um Genesis chapter 25. No, 28. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, actually, keep going to Hebrews where it just says, um, who's one more profane person than Esau, right? Right? Oh, Give me the, what is that? Hebrews what? 12, 16. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, right? Who, for one morsel of, 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 so like, you know, for one morsel of food sold his birthright, right? For you know that afterward, when he was when he wanted to inherit the blessing, I read it from the NKJV, so it's a song a little different. Let me, let, me, let, me, uh, let me try, let me put it in the KJV. Go ahead. All right, I, I'll translate. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, right? Okay, go to that one time. <clears throat> right? Genesis chapter 25 and verse 31. Right? It says, And Jacob's and Salakia, our subtle high up, verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in his tents. And Isaac loved Esau, but he did eat of his venison. Right? But Rebecca loved Jacob, right? And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field and was faint, right? Mm -hmm. And Esau said um, to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same pottage, red pottage, for I am faint. Right? So the word faint just uh, you know, jumping out at me because we're in a time where um, the ship just said to be strong. Right? <clears throat> right? Because we, hey, hey, we, we, we we, hey, the saints, the script, let's talk about the arm um, as being weary, right? But but faint not. So the word faint means to be exhausted and what? Weary, right? Weary, exhausted. Um, this is Strong's age 5888. Ayaf. Ayaf. Right? To be lang, to languish. Jeremiah 4 and 31 it says for I have heard the voice of a woman in travail and and the anguish of her that bringeth forth her first child the voice of the daughter of Zion that bewailed herself and spread her hands saying woe is me now for my soul is wearied because of murderers and this is the time that we are the murderers are they coming in yeah. right All, it, it happened before and it's happening again right okay. they're coming in they're coming in as a flood go ahead bring a precept this is the book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 8 it says, Remove far from me because Esau was taught just as how Isaac was taught. Mm -hmm. Vanity and lies, and give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. And everything Esau believed in is vanity and lies. The wicked is estranged from the womb. Okay. Go on to say, it says, Lest I be full. And Esau is full. The scripture says in Habakkuk chapter 2, what he enlarged his desires that are help. He can have more than you know, more than his heart's desire. Can. Psalm, Psalms 49 verse 11 The inward thought is that the tabernacle like will last forever Can't, so, they, so they name places And after themselves Because they come back They leave that in, They leave They leave to, the, to their ears You know They leave it to their to, to the, They will leave it to their damn cat If they, if they don't have an ear Can't. Right But they will leave it to themselves Because they will come back They know about re reincarnation re Regeneration They will come back to inherit that That, that, um, that riches That Can't. estate Right it says, lest I be full and deny thee. And deny thee. And what? They're full, right? Because what? What they're full of? They're blessed by um, Isaac, their forefather, who loved who loved him. But 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 through the spirit and power of Yahweh, she may have was the blessing. Wants to go on who? Jacob. Right? That is the righteous seed. Esau represents the wicked seed. But Esau was his firstborn, you know? Hmm. Hey, a parent will say that um, I love all mature and um, equally. That's not true. You will love your first more than you love any other. I'm telling you. Damn. You know? It says, And Jacob said, You will love your first more than you will love the others. There's a special bond with your first. That's your first seed. Right? And Jacob said, Pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Right, and Jacob was Jacob said, "Send me this day 
thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? Hmm. So he didn't have faith. Yeah. He gave for a carnal blessing. He gave it for right now. And that's what, he, that's what his forefather came and gave him. Right? In Genesis chapter um, chapter 27. Right? This is Genesis chapter 27. And we're going to go to verse 14. Right? Um, verse 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Right? So since you want now, you get now. Right? And this is this is the bombs that he's trying to push. He's trying to push past his his appointed time. He's trying to extend it. You know? You have a space force to fight the angels. Right? You have weapons to fight the angels and you have a shine when they come back. You know? It says, um, it says, verse 39, and Isaac his father answered him unto him and said behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the heaven from above and by the sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass that thou shall have dominion and that thou shall break his yoke from off his neck and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob so he's about to slay us okay. right he's about to physically come down in the form of what? I'm not fucking doing that. By the what? The, um, the Maxines, because these Maxines, they fucking people up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Bell Palsy, you know, um, sh the Shakes, yeah. <laughs> the, the, it's people walking around with the Shakes, you know. I had two videos I see with a uh, woman walking around. You have your mask? Mm -hmm. See these devils? You know, two women walking around with, the, with, with um, these heavy Shakes, you know? Mm -hmm. um, because what? They have heavy metal toxification. Right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. You had something else you're reading? I took myself real quick, Baruch Hashem. What? Because it says, um, the bombs, concerning the bombs, because right now they're enlarging the cell. You know, the first, when you deny the Lord, so right now they're doing is renaming everything after their cells, which is going against the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shaiwu. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 28. It says, Remove not the ancient landmark. With thy father, which thy fathers have set, and Proverbs 23 verse 10 it says, Remove not the old landmark and enter not into the fields of the fatherless. So he wasn't even supposed to enter the land that the Mosai Abashim Yahushai gave unto the children of Israel because we fatherless, we father not here right now. Mm -hmm. We just had a comforter, which is the way, Can. you know. So the transgress going back to Hebrews chapter 12 verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And you know, all these things, you know, uh, uh, um, evidence manifesting that, that these people are the wicked, these people are Esau, the so-called white man, you know, but yet since Christians deny this and, 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 and they accept we are all one. Hmm. Red and yellow, black and white, precious in his sight. See, so it's a different, yeah, a different, a different anointing they're preaching. They're not preaching the Habashim Shai. Yeah. They're not preaching the God of the Bible. They're not in the spirit of the God of the Bible. They have, they have a doctrine of man, right? That was created by the enemy to keep you what? Blinded. The prince and the power of the air. Satan, you know? And the physical Satan on the earth is who? Esau. You know? Hmm. For he know that afterwards when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Right? Because what? The, the, birth, the first one son would have received the blessing. But the most high didn't want it like that. Because he's a wicked. He was the seed of the wicked. Right? And it goes back to what? The forefather Cain. Cain was the first son. Then there was Abel. Right? It's the same spirit. Hmm. Same order. Right? Everybody coming back in the lot. Right? The most high rejected Cain. You know? He said what? If thou was what? If thou was... Um, if don't no, I don't want to get here because I want to go back to one of the precepts. This is Genesis chapter four, right? This is this is um, Genesis four, and I'm, I'll read that verse seven to the point. You know, try to, I don't want the videos to be too long, right? Because basically they were supposed to bring an offering unto the Lord, and it was, the law was given um, orally back then because it wasn't written in stone. This is the beginning. Genesis means the beginning, right? It says. If thou didst well, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? Mm -hmm. If thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door. Mm -hmm. And unto thee shall be his desire, mm -hmm. and thou shalt rule over him. So sin, Cain, Esau, rule over what sin? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. 
the desire of sin is in is is, is in the flesh yeah. right the scripture talks about the flesh war it against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh they don't have the spirit of yahweh shemi al shai they're right. totally in the spirit of the flesh he he wanted to fulfill the lust of the flesh which was food right he was faint he couldn't wait for the food to even finish cook he ate what what that bloody pottage right that post that 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 that, that portion of meat he desired that that raw meat over what the blessings everything hmm. the earth and the fullness thereof the blessings of what his forefather Abraham hmm. right but no he forfeited it it says for for Hebrews 12 and 17 for he know that uh, how afterwards when he would have inherited the blessings he was rejected for he found no place of repentance he didn't turn back to Yahabashim Yahushai he continued to, to be wicked hmm. he pursued his brother with his sword Amos 1 and 11 for three, uh, for three transgressions, let me get out real quick. This is what? In Amos chapter 1, verse 11, it says, Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, the race, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because thou didn't pursue his brother with the sword. We just read about it. Okay. He said, After the days of um, mourning um, has passed, what he would do, he would slay his brother Jacob. And they cast off all pity. And these people want to trust this man. Hmm. This jackass, Jake, holding up the sign saying what? Um, redeeming, um, restoring his trust after Tuskegee. Hmm. Well, you be the fool to do that. Okay. You do that. Okay. Right? He cast off all pity and his anger the temple perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. But I will send fire upon Timon, which shall devour the places of Bajra. Hmm. Chief city what? Of, of, of what? Esau and Edom. Which represents America this, today. Okay. Right? Going back, it says, he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Hmm. Right? Go ahead. I'm going to just read this piece of real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23 and verse 12. It says, There is a word that is clothed about with death, mm -hmm. and that death lies in, in the nation of Esau Edom, because you rejected the Mosai. You understand? You despise the birthright, and the Mosai rejected you. And he says what sin lies at the door. Yeah, because you renounce the Lord. Come. You renounce the Lord. You give up the Lord. You say, yo, what is it? Hey, a matter of fact, let me bring it out one time. Job. I think it's Job 21. Oh. Yeah, it was 14. 14. Yeah. I guess I'm um, highlighting one time. Okay. 14. It was ready to 15. 12, 16. Job 21 and um, 14. For therefore say, they say unto the most high, depart from us. For we desired not the knowledge of thy ways. And uh, hey, hey, going back to the forefather Cain, he knew it was a it was a righteous thing to um, to, to to give the first things uh, 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 of your fatted animals, your calves, your lamb, whatever. The Lord lo loves the sweet savor of the of the, of the of the flesh burning, right? Of the lamb, right? Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. Scripture also said he loved the Lord lover a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver, you know. But what you 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 choose to hold back? Um, they that sow sparingly shall reap sparingly, okay. right? You hold back. You give the Lord what? You give the Lord vegetation. You give him your carrots and your tomatoes, your cucumber and your cauliflower. No, the Lord didn't want that. You don't want to smell no burnt cucumber. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the Lord wanted to smell the burnt, the burnt, the burnt flesh or the lamb. You know, it says. Therefore, they say unto the Most High. Depart from us, we these for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Mm. What is your what is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Yeah, they're not gonna profit, they're not gonna gain. Right? Because they already forfeited their birthright. They renounced their birthright and they what? They, they were supplanted the blessing. <laughs> it says, Lo, their good is not in their hand, the counsel of the wicked is far from me. Okay. Right, so the counsel is far from righteousness. So, 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 we knowing this, knowing that this is what the man, this is the man's heart, this is his mind. 
you're going to take his chip? Hmm. That don't make sense. No. You're going to take his vaccine? That don't make sense. Hmm. It's not righteous. It's wicked. It's not blessed by the most high. It's cursed. Hmm. You know? It's a lot of what? Bless your food, grace before me, and grace after me. It's both laws. Right? You think what they're giving is blessed? No, it's not blessed. That medicine isn't blessed. That medicine is poison. Right? How oft is the candle of the wicked put out? And how oft cometh the, their destruction upon them? Mm. The Most High distributed sorrows in his anger. Mm. They are as stubble before the wind and as the chaff that the storm carried away. So the Most High is going to burn them up. He's going to burn them up. You know? They renounced the Most High. They gave him up. So he's going to burn them up. It says his eyes, sorry, God laid up his iniquity for the for for his children. The scriptures say that the children are gonna what? Gonna complain of compl ungodly father. Can they complain of an ungodly father? Right? I didn't have you in slavery, but your forefathers did, and you benefit from that. There's something called white supremacy. Okay. Don't you know? Don't you know? White right pri white privilege, sorry. Not white supremacy, that too, but white privilege. Right? Well, it should be either my privilege. Right? Ship just say that they are not in trouble as other men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we are being fear of our life. Okay. Ship just go back to Deuteronomy, um, Deuteronomy 28. Say what? What is part of the curse? Let me get it for you real quick. You have something there? Yeah, if I could ask for just real quick, Baba Kosha. Uh huh. It's Ecclesiastes 23, verse 12. It says, There is a wood that is clothed about with death, and that is found in the nation of Edom. And God grant that it be not found in the heritage of Jacob. Uh huh. Because Jacob is life. For all and such things shall be far from the godly, and they shall not willow in their sins. And when they go into that wood, willow is with them big animals and them buffalo and them just willow in the mud. And when the Lord tell you so, what, what just means to like to, to dance? Because basically, there's roll, there's dance. No willow is wallow. 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 Yeah, there's dance. You know, because what what happened? They have like these uh these big cattle. They don't have uh like how humans would have uh pores and these glands that bring sweat from the inside to the outside to cool the body down so what they do they wallow they play in the mud hmm. right because the mud actually cools them down you know it cools them down so you will see the cows do that you will see the buffalo you will see the hippopotamus they do that the pigs do that God. they wallow in the mud because pigs don't have that um grand them glands them pores to excrete uh or to for the for for for, for sweat because the purpose of sweat is to cool your body down mm -hmm. you know it's gonna your body actually release some water from the inside to bring it on the outside to cool the outside of your body okay. right so then they, they wallow in the mud because the mud is basically um dust and water right or dirt and water and that cools down the body right so what what did scripture just say read it again Bible Kosha. it says for all such things shall be far from the godly, mm -hmm. and they shall not wallow in their sins. They shall not wallow in their sins. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna play in their sins. You're not gonna bask in their sins. You know, hmm. you're gonna be judged for your sins, right? You're not gonna have, you're not gonna have a throne and a kingdom everlasting because of your sins, yeah. right? You're gonna be taken down. Go ahead. Proverbs six hour. No, for sure. Just, just before we go too far Let me get this Bible Kosha. Okay. It says because Deuteronomy 28 and 66 And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee And thou shalt fear day and night And shall have no, none assurance of thy life In the morning thou shalt say Would God if it were evening And, and, and at evening thou shalt say Would God if it were morning For the fear of thine heart Wherewith thou shalt fear And for the sight of thine eyes Which thou shalt see and Jake go through that, especially in Babylon. You know, you go out in the street, your head, woo woo, behind the other, you know. You stop, you pull over, you pull out your, your license and insurance, or your, your papers one time, you know. You declare where it is and you just pray. You pray before the officer come out of the car that, that, that he don't take your life. Damn. Because because it's, 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 hey, it's profiling and it's to shoot and kill Jake. Mm -hmm. You know, it's shoot and kill Jake. You know, not only in Babylon, the great um, Babylon, the great America, but hey, in the, these different countries that we're in too, okay. right? We've been persecuted. You have they, they brainwash our own people, right? As officers to hate their own mm -hmm. niggas ain't good, niggas ain't shit, right? Mm -hmm. 
you see them got they bring they bring gang legislation right they bring all these laws right to what to what so that Jake don't gather because what they are might when they gather right, right. and he so hates us right so ultimately all people are trained to what to, to what serve the state and for the, what the so called better good you, you know how much officers know that these masks make no fucking sense okay. but they, they, they're enforcing it you know why because it's because they underneath the state they swear oath which the Lord said wasn't to swear right so they so right there again they're against the Lord, against the Lord. Right? They renounce the Lord. Right? They've been judge, jury, and executioner. Right? They they go after they go after people out, out here. You know, but which 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 the Lord say he set he set up the powers that be are ordained of the most high. Right? And it may be that if you go against the power, if you go against you know, it, it'll be as though you're going against the most high. You know? So so the most high set it up for what? Balance. Mm -hmm. Set them up for balance, you know? Oh, go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and verse 4. It says, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Yeah, so he's proud in heart. It's an actual so proud as he saw. He should just say he's a proud man. Go down most proud. Second proud is who? The second proud is, is Moab. You know? Go ahead. It says, "Do hand joy in hand, he shall not be unpunished." Yeah, they shall not be unpunished. They shall get a judgment. Job twenty-one and twenty. His eyes shall see his destruction. And what the Lord said us, said to us, He said, "Only with thine eyes thou shalt see the reward of the wicked," which is going to be what from that bird's eye view, looking down on the earth, seeing them missiles hit, and seeing what the the, the mushroom clouds looking like um, as you call it, yeah, looking like um, uh, undulating or white white. White water rapids is where you call it, you, call it, you know, kayaking. You go down them white water rapids, right? But in it's gonna be in the color amber, mushroom clouds when he misses it, right? Let me see if I get a real class, real fast enough here. Yeah, um, Revelation chapter. Um, 15 and 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 a certain one and i saw another sign in heaven a greater marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues right and then what the lord say this is a plague where with as in zechariah this is a plague where with uh um, yeah bring it up about Masha. but this this this, this, this the, 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 the chariots is a plague and the missiles is a plague go ahead Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12 And this shall be a plague wherewith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall smite all the people uh -huh. that have fought against Jerusalem. So who the chief person that fought against Jerusalem when you go back to Psalm 63 is Esau and Edom. Okay. Right? And he's confederate with what? Who? The Ishmaelites, the Moabites, the Hagarines, and the list goes on. Them different nations, the Ammonites. Go ahead. It says their flesh shall consume away. While they stand upon their feet. Yeah, right. Who was gonna make that? What kind of power is gonna make your flesh consume away upon your feet? The missiles. Two more, two more, two more, two more goes back to what heat. Two more dynamics is what they use to what? They use two more dynamics to what? Power the steam engine, right? The steam engine you know, at trains, right? Two more dynamics with what? Ships. Two more dynamics and what? Engines overall. Go ahead. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, uh -huh. and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right. Two more nuclear missiles. Heat yeah. is going to cause them to consume away. Yeah. Right? Um, Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. So seven means complete. <laughs> complete plagues. Hmm. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them, had, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. And over the image. And over his mark. Right? Over the image. And over his mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. You see? Over the image. The representation. The likeness of Esau. 
Edom Nikidan. Right? And and over the number of the name and the number of his name, Salakia, which is the mark of the beast again, going back to Revelation 6, 13 verse 18, right? The number of his name, 666. And stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High, which is what the truth, right? We, hey, we sing it unto the Most High when we do all these lessons and go out in the highways and byways and teach. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the of, and the song of the Lamb, saying, "Great and marvelous are thy works, the Lord Almighty, just and true, having are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall who shall not fear thee, O Yahweh, and glorify thy name? Thou art holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for the, for thy." Judgment are manifest, and after I looked, and behold, the temple and the tabernacle and the testimony of heaven was open. Right, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 14 it says, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. So, you're gonna be able to run from when the nuclear bombs hit because the level of heat that coming, they're going to wipe away their eyes. And his skin from off the body, as the scripture saying here, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. They shall not be a cold to warm up, no fire to set before it. So you know they they ain't gonna be like you know it's a night out in the woods with a little marshmallow over you heat it. They gonna be like that. God. That's the reason why when the angel said in Revelation 15, the lake of fire from the bird's eye view. They're gonna see it. They're gonna see America, the great, on fire. Literally, yeah, that's and that's gonna be the reward of the wicked because why they renounce your how about It says Revelation 21 and 20 His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what pleasure had he in his house hmm. after him? <laughs> the Lord have no pleasure with the wicked in the, in, 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 in the kingdom of heaven, so that's why they're gonna be eradic eradicated after that thousand years, hmm. right? However, the Lord. Do with his spirit, you do with his spirit because you say he created him. all things, even the wicked for the day are evil, right? It says, When the number of his mouth is cut off in the in in of his mouths is cut off in his midst. Shall shall any teach the most high knowledge, seeing he judges those that are high? It's the Lord gonna judge the high and mighty, which is E. Uh, Esau and Edom, uh, right? Uh, so with that, we pray that the lesson was edifying. We give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Raka Kodash, Double on us, our apostles, and the other great mills, and citations to the elect virgin in this work in sincerity and in truth. Awat Lababal, DTA, right? Shalom. Shalom. Abad Babal.